Hi, I'm out running errands, and um, this steely here in Saint Denis says, and I shall attempt to translate on the spot. In front of you was the entrance of the well monastery, I guess you know, religious place of a severe discipline of intense spirituality uh... what's the word for that? convent, monastery, whatever it's called Carmel Louis de France uh... the eighth son of Louis the fifteenth uh... tired of uh... all the shit excuse my pardon my French on in the court and to lead uh, his king to God started going there in 1770 affirming that the place was happier than the princess in her palace uh, she oh oh Louise de France oh yes excuse me yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember this. Uh, she took the name of Sister Teresa of Saint Augustin and then became the priory, the, the, I guess it's like the abbess, the, the prior of the convent until her death in 1787. Sorry, I have, I, I still have trouble with the French language. The um, convent, which knew uh, some financial difficulties, uh, was much benefited by her arrival there. Louis XV uh, gave some preferential treatment to the convent, and he declared them his own. He built a pavillon for his meetings with his daughter, and uh, that's where later Louis the Sixteenth and Marie Antoinette visited their aunt, who was that lady. During the first French Revolution in the 18th century, the convent was closed because, as you may or may not know, uh, religion was outlawed in France during the terror and it became a caserne which means a place for police to go and uh, in the second half of the 19th century the nuns came back but they had been much decreased in number by epidemics and they abandoned this convent in 1895 and uh, the buildings sheltered the Bishop of Saint Denis from 1959 to 1972 and the museum has been here since 1981 and I must tell you people this is a superb museum you can get to it by the Metro of Port de Paris, number 13 line. And over here in the big chapel that uh, Louise built for the convent, uh, they have contemporary art exhibitions. And in the old convent, and you can see some of the restored places of it, and learn about the nuns and everything. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is that, well, for one thing, it's, it's, it's a fine museum, very cheap, and you don't have to pay the full price for entry. You know, you can just tell the cashier which part of the museum you would like to see and pay a reduced rate. Now, how cool is that, you know? You might want to pay for the whole thing, and that would take some time. It's fairly large, but there's a lot of historical and 
archaeological things from here in Saint Denis, which is an ancient, ancient, ancient city. And so, you know, you'll find like prehistoric things here and stuff, and a lot of stuff from the Dark Ages, and it's very interesting. And you'll also see more modern stuff. And there was there's stuff there for the Hotel Dieu, which was a charity hospital. I think one of the first. And you know, you have to remember in the past it was pretty much the Christian church who would be likely to take in um, very sick people, very old people, very messed up people. And the stuff is very, very interesting. Oh, somebody was asking me recently about French pastry. <laughs> that was past the shop. I never... I think I only bought something from these people once. Oh, that's kind of a cute little cake. It might be okay, you know. You never know. Can't really say. Oh, and my husband loves this house. I told him I would buy him this house if he really wanted it. It's number one whatever street it is. You have to understand that Saint-Denis was... Um, the world's first industrial zone and so a lot of industrialists had very nice houses here especially in this area and some of them are still up the world's first concrete house was here in Saint Denis I don't know if it's still there it was all in ruins last time I saw it um, and it must have been pretty darned uncomfortable to live in. Very cold and everything. It was 19th century and it was poured concrete with metal structures in it. This is not by any means the first clip that I have done in this neighborhood. I don't get down here all that much. But I have a bunch of errands to run this afternoon, and I'm. It's it's very nice and warm. This past Sunday was the warmest day of spring we've had in France since 1880, 21 degrees centigrade. And it was it was very pleasant. I went to Paris twice that day, and. I'm out and about and doing some stuff. Also acquiring real estate, which is very interesting. Okay, see.